Hello friends, in this video, let's talk about what is a between operator in MySQL. It is a very common operator across the RDBMSs, which helps us to select the values in a given range. So that ranges can be numbers, dates, or interestingly text as well. So you can get the list of records which are lying in between the range. So between uh, range. So that range accepts uh, numbers, date, or text even. We'll talk about that. See even, so without using the between operator also, you can achieve the result which you are getting through between. So by using greater than and less than, symbols you can achieve the same but easiest and effective math part is between but in the between both lower value as well as upper value both are included in the result set if you use only greater than and less than those upper and lower values won't include by default you have to use less than or equal to and greater than or equal to to include lower and upper bounds so let's write a syntax for the between. Select column names, column names, column names from table name where class required to use the between operator. So column one between, you're using between between value 1 and value 2 or upper value lower value whatever it is so now let's apply the same in a um, uh, mysql so first let's try to use a number range number range so let's start the workbench let's quickly fire up the workbench Okay, so here I'll be using a North Wind. I have a North Wind database. North Wind. Okay. Now let's take a, a very basic table products. So we start from Okay, so let's run this query. So this is a very general query, okay? So bare general query. So which is having around um, 10 columns and around 70 plus records. So now, so I want to identify the, so list of products which are in stock more than 20 or between 20 and um, 30 or unit price in between the particular rates 20 and 30, something like that. So now let me figure out that. So let's, this is a general query. Let me put a, uh, this other query, self start from um, product. products where what is the units in stock units in, in stock between between so 20 and 30. see what I am trying to get this the units in stock between 20 and 30 so if you see these these are the stock numbers let us see how many are there so let's run this so now I got so around uh, 20, these are the list, like let us say, if you see this product is available in stock of 29 and this see, if you see this product uh, is available in stock of 20 only, it means that the value, lower value also include in your result and you can see maybe 30 as well, but yeah, like we don't have a 30 actually by default uh, in the system. That's the reason why you're not getting um, the result set, but, but even 30 also will be included in the result. Okay, so even let us say if the um, unit price, so let's uh, change the query to filter based on the unit price. So unit price between uh, something like that um, 50 to 50 and 90. Let's run this. Now you have only 
uh, four products where unit price in between 60 and uh, 50 and 90 if you see so like a uh, one product is in 62.5 the one other product is 81 and 53 and 55 so these are the four product which unit prices uh, lie in between 50 and 90 so this is how you will be using between operator for numbers okay so then how to use uh, between operator for um, dates actually let me write down so here in this uh, in this example i'll use employee okay select star from employee employees yeah so let us see this is the data i'm going to use for the uh, date range so now if you see i have a, a birth date as well as height date so now I want to identify uh, the people who who joined or who born in between 1940 uh, and 1960, 50, 60 actually let us say. So now, so let's write down the query like this, okay. Select um, star from employees where uh, birth date. between so as i mentioned um 1948 and and that is in 1960 okay so both the dates are inclusive if you see okay uh, 1948 1208 inclusive and 1960 uh, 0529 also inclusive let's run this query now if you see here so i got this guy as well so uh, nancy i got it and even um 529 um this robot also includes let let me order by let me order by uh, birth date actually so one two three four five six order by six let's run this now you see uh, the flow Okay, the people who born in this order like this, see 1948 one, 1952 one, 1955 one, 58 one, 61. Total seven people who are born between these dates. So both dates are included, included if you see here. Okay, this is how you will be um, writing a between operator in the date ranges. Now, so this other one is text as well. So you can, you can try for the text range as well. So let me use the same table for the text. So let's quickly write down the query, select star from employees where um, what I say first name first name between a and so I'm just keeping like this first of all let us see list of employees order by I'm putting order by three. Let's run this query. So if you see the total, um, okay, let's run this query. See that the employees are ordered on a first name, on an ascending order, Andrew, Janet, Lara, like this, Nancy, Robert, and Steven. Okay, so now, so if you see, I'm, I'm trying to pull the data between whose first name between A and B. Okay, so if you understand, uh, uh, let me run the query. Yeah, you got the people whose first name is starting with A. Okay, so there is no B actually. If you see, there is no people whose name is starting with B. That's the reason why I did not get the B. Now let's make it as um, uh, some H. Uh, let's make it as um, M. So if I make it M, the expectation in getting the result is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 records. So Andrew, Anne, Janet, Lara, uh, Margaret and Michael. So let's run this. The six records I'm expecting to. So let me run this. I'm trying. Okay, Andrew and Janet, let me see. Okay, so these, these, uh, the upper limit, yeah, this one is not inclusive. If you want to include this one, you should be using it tilde operator here. Yes, so M won't be coming actually here. So if you want M, then you need to use a tilde or uh, you have to use the other letter N. So let me run this. We run this now i'll be getting this six so n won't come because so the names which are starting with n won't come because to inclusive that you need to use tilde operator okay 
so let's let's try that now if you want to oh, let me see the again um if you want to change the query uh, to inclusive n as well then let's make it as r Now you got n as well, and c as well. So now let's uh, uh, try some negative case. I'm putting r here and uh, putting a here. Let us see what what is the expected result here. If you see, yeah. So zero results. Why? Because so this is a not a positive scenario because r is more r in the alphabetical order. If you see, r comes last when compared with a. Later, I mean, r coming uh, r comes in the later state. When compared with a, that's the reason why zero records uh, when you are running this query. So that's how you you will be working uh, with the um, between operator in the text. So let us see by adding a tilde operator uh, at the uh, end. So let me see where is uh, tilde. Now let's run this. So. So that that's all about it actually in the between operator. So thank you, thank you for uh, watching. Yep.